Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and we're going to be going over the Seahorse SE1530. Now, this is a company that I came across in uh, SHOT Show, essentially, Seahorse cases. And uh, one of the things that really caught my eye was the price point. It's 40 to 60% cheaper than its competitors, but you get a lot for the money. And uh, we're going to go over this, this model. This is more or less the uh, rifle length model. It's about 46 inches long exterior. Uh, you lose about an inch or two inside, so it's about 44 inside. Definitely long enough if you're really going to be carrying, you know, just about any kind of carbine rifle, even like an M16 or something like that. So let's go uh, down to the features. As you can see, it's a nice molded case. But one thing that's really cool is that these latches up here, there's actually a, a, another turning feature. So basically you have two points of security. You have the latch itself and it locks as well, which is a nice feature to have. So as you can see, you just rotate these dials. Horizontal is locked. Vertical means it's unlocked. So all you gotta do is just make sure they're all unlocked and then it should be pretty easy just to undo every one of those latches. Now, beside the latches, um, there's actually six points where you could put locks on here. So if you really wanna make it hard for someone to take your stuff, uh, you can definitely do that. And it should uh, fit standard master, uh, master key locks and that kind of sort of thing. So as you can see, I'm gonna open it real quick. Aha, so what do we have here now? What's really cool is that it uses pluck foam. So if you're not really too keen on cutting your own foam, this is a really easy way to do it. What pluck foam essentially is, is basically kind of like Minecraft foam is like the easiest way to describe it. It literally just comes apart in bricks and you can kind of build and customize your case as you see fit. On the top layer, I have my Masada, four mags, and a little extra space for just any other extra kind of square item I want to put in there. As you can see, the top of the case here has this kind of, you know, you know Pretty, pretty standard uh, foam topping here. You, I mean, possible to replace it with Velcro if you want the badges in there, but I actually like this. It kind of gives you a good buffer space, especially um, if the case gets a little squished when you're uh, dealing with the TSA, because we know how the TSA treats everything. Definitely interesting. Now it's awesome because there's so much room in this case. I mean, you have almost like about a little bit more than half a foot of vertical space in here. So I definitely had plenty of room to fit two. I mean, you could almost put do two different complete loadouts in here if you really want to. I had two rifles. The bottom has most of my optics, suppressors, you know, other loom systems. I mean, I can put a whole loadout of mid caps in this case and two guns in here and plus my 1911, which I don't have in this case but I do have the cutout here for it and on my other secondary rifle so it's definitely a really good case to go and you know Bill's from Junkie posted an amazing video about how to fly with the airsoft guns make sure you guys check that out uh, but this is definitely one of those options you might want to be looking at you know there's a couple really good hard cases out there I mean even in the airsoft world there's a couple cheap ones you can get away with uh, but you know if you're actually going to be traveling a lot and you need to carry a good amount of hard goods uh, this is definitely the way to go nice affordable case um, I should list the price in the description below uh, but definitely something you want to look at especially if you're going to be traveling to a lot of American Millicent Ops or something like that and I like the flexibility I like the amount of room and uh, I mean one cool story is that when I got it back from the TSA like when I landed the, because the case is pressurized and because it's self-pressurizing like it had actually kind of got squished a little bit and I was like oh crap this thing's like bowed in just a, just a tiny tad and um, you know I opened it up you could hear the air pressure come out but everything was secured just fine I'm gonna survive the TSA so it practically survive anything uh, but definitely a really cool uh, good way to go like I said and they make cases for you know scuba equipment camera equipment things like that so if you have a need for a hard case that's more in your price range seahorse case is definitely the way to go this is Spartan 1170 W thank you guys for watching Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my bag. Thanks for watching.